Oh, look, he's hit it. Do you think it'll go in the hole? <laughs> yeah, novelty golf date beats ironic sci-fi fun Gerard. Hard cheese. And we've already had four whiskies, so time for me to roll in my militarised divisions. Makes it much less scary if I think about it like a war. Mark, are you about to lunch? Is this pre-lunch? Sorry, sh should I have filled out a lunging application form and had it ratified by the FSA? <laughs> Look, don't get me wrong, I like you, but maybe let's not do anything tonight. And when the dust settled with Gerard and my other dates... We'll see. OK, that, that's fine. Oh, my God, she likes me. She just said it. That's undeniable. I can bank that. I can put it on a blog so it's a matter of public record. Oh, my God, this guy doesn't know a nine-iron from a pitching wedge. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're Roosevelt and Stalin, Gerard's Churchill. He thinks he's in there, but when the fucking starts and Europe gets carved up, Churchill has to leave. Oh, shit. No, Soph. Cancel. I'm cancelling you out of shame. Like my subscription to White Dwarf. Just the bank. The sperm bank, where I bank my stupid sperm. And my other passion is poetry. Oh, wow, really? Cos, uh, I dabble. Oh. Sure, I dabble. Like Da Vinci dabbled in art. Fuck you, Bush. That sounds good. Yeah, I wrote that some time ago, but uh, it's still pretty savage. Go on. Really? Oh, OK, well... Fuck you, Bush. Fuck you, Bush. It's time to get out of Iraq, Bush. What were you even doing there in the first place, Bush? You didn't even get properly elected, Bush. Are you happy now, Bush? Fuck you, Bush. Wow. I love the way the last line is the same as the first line. Thanks. I did that on purpose. <laughs>